Now I'm going to show you how to make hummus. You need a 16, 15 ounce can of garbanzos. Now these garbanzos have already been soaked, boiled, they're ready to go. But if you prefer, you can soak your own overnight. I have four tablespoons of fresh lemon juice, one teaspoon of salt. I like to put all my ingredients in here and just do it. Uh, I have one teaspoon of ground cumin, two cloves of garlic crushed. You can put the garlic in there whole if you like, but just to make sure it gets crushed properly, I like to crush it and then put it in the machine. Now, if that's too much garlic for you, you can use garlic powder instead of fresh garlic. Just make sure all your guests eat the same thing so nobody feels bad about the garlic. I have six tablespoons of tahini. Now tahini is ground sesame seeds. It's sesame seed paste. And that is the base of your baba ganoush and your tahini. And we need a half a cup of water. There. Now you just want to puree this really well. Beautiful. My middle daughter likes to take tahin, uh, hummus and tabbouleh to school for her lunch. Very nutritious, very healthy. See how nice that looks? And you can garnish that a little bit with some parsley, just like that. And a little bit of either Aleppo pepper or paprika. Look how beautiful that looks. Now you can omit the olive oil if you like, but the olive oil just adds a little bit more character to it. 